it was September 11, 2001. Do you know where you was at? I know, <laughs> I know where I was at. Unfortunately, I, I was locked up and I had a job in the facility making a, uh, working in the mail, the mail room and it came over the television that two planes had hit these towers in New York and we saw when President Bush was told he was entertaining some children and reading them some storybooks or something like that and one of his aides came to him and informed him that America was under attack the World Trade Center two planes had flown into the towers and we know this event it has been called simply 9-11 many people died that day millions of dollars of property damage And President Bush came on TV and made it very clear to the American people somebody gonna pay for this. People began to enlist in the army the Navy and the Marines or wherever they could go this was attack upon their country one of the worst attacks on American soil in history 9-11 somebody gotta pay so they target Afghanistan saying that they were hiding uh, the mastermind behind 9-11 Osama bin Laden and they target Iraq who was hiding mass destructions but clearly no evidence that Saddam Hussein or Iraq had anything to do with 9-11 in fact it's a possibility that somebody from their own ally countries, one of their buddies, probably did that. It's a possibility that the government itself did that. But nevertheless, that's a whole different conversation. The key word that I want to bring to this conversation is payback revenge for 9-11 there was another incident there was an airplane or a jet that was shot out the sky I forgot what it was called Pan Am something but Libya, Colonel Gaddafi, who is deceased now, Colonel Gaddafi and the country of Libya, Libya, were accused of shooting this plane down. Somebody got to pay. This must be avenged. And so a few years ago the greatest assassination plot was devised 
and all these countries came together and they killed Muammar Gaddafi and they destroyed the government of Libya and now the country is in turmoil it is in chaos I guess the people that hated Muammar Gaddafi I guess they are satisfied now but again the word I'm looking for here is payback Revenge. It took them a long time to get Colonel Gaddafi, but payback. I don't think there was no real evidence, no proof. That's why it took so long. They they used human rights violations, not this airplane incident. They used human rights violations in order to justify murdering Colonel Gaddafi and taking him and uh, out of power. And so I guess the people are now happy no more Colonel Gaddafi. How many of you oh oh the key word we're looking for is payback. Revenge. So now we some of us we like kung fu movies and so you have a little boy and he watches father get murdered by another clan and his father drops to the floor <laughs> and he reaches out to his son revenge no revenge my dad yes father now this is a little boy. He can't do anything. But the key word we're looking for here is payback, revenge. And so the little boy grows up and he's practicing martial arts. And now he's at the age, I don't care whether I live or die. I'm going to take revenge for what you did to my father. Come on. The key word here is revenge, payback. And this little boy's father has transitioned. He's been gone for years. But the key word is payback, revenge for what somebody done to you or your family or your nation or your country. If you notice in the vocabulary of the average once called Negro in America, that is not a recurring theme among us, the black man and woman in America. We don't talk revenge. We don't talk about payback. Now, some of the blackity black, black power hotel type of folks, bang on the beast, kill the cracker, but they never carry it out. They talk it, but they don't carry it out. The United States carried the revenge of 9 11 out, they took payback and revenge on that airplane, that jet that was shot. They accused Libya of doing that. The little boy who was seven, eight years old, when he got 21, he took revenge for his father. But here we are in this nation, and I'm not inciting violence. Violence was came to us you and I have the right to self defense and if they have the right to take revenge and payback on those who caused them harm why would you have a problem 
with the so-called Negro, the black man and woman, the African American, the black American, why would you have a problem with us thinking in the same manner? Our people murdered on these streets of America going on 500 years. I wonder about the mindset of men who are the father and the uncles of Trayvon Martin or Eric Garner, Sean Bell, Tamir Rice, Sandra Bland, and the list goes on and on and on. And this is in recent times. We're not talking about the murder and the castration and the beatings and the lynchings of our ancestors going back 500 years. We're talking about this is in recent times. Take them to court. Sue them. File a complaint. But we don't talk about revenge. We don't talk about payback. I guarantee you, if we had that mindset, those who attack us, those who seek to do us harm, they would think twice because if you hurt mine, yours gonna get hurt. Payback, revenge. But in our case, you have the right to self-defense, just like they do. Revenge, payback, is a word you don't hear among us. But it's all right for other people. Here we are, victims, and they will seek payback and revenge for us defending ourselves. How many members of the original, the early Black Panther Party, how many of them were killed? How many of them were put behind bars? How many of them are in bars in prison right now? What did we do to deserve being murdered or put in prison? We were the ones attacked. We were the ones discriminated. We were the ones that harm came to us living in an unjust society and country. If anybody deserve the right or the privilege to seek revenge, it is us. How can we as men sit around the fathers of the fallen and we don't think about revenge? And the little kung fu boy said, I don't care if I die. You're going to know this family was the wrong one for you to play with. Think about it. Am I wrong for saying this?